Hi everyone, I'm Kaya, a yoga instructor with exercisesforinjuries.com. Welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing some gentle yoga for tight hips. So I have some support with me. I have two blocks. Uh, you could just use pillows, folded up blankets, stacks of books, uh, whatever you have at home. And then I'm also sitting up on a bolster just to make it a little bit more comfortable to sit. So we'll start in a seated position, finding whatever position is comfortable for you. We're going to ground down, grow up tall through the crown of the head. And if it feels okay, you can allow the eyes to close. And we'll begin by connecting with our breath. So just starting to notice the sensation of the inhale and exhale. No need to change the breath, just noticing where you feel it the most. And as we go through our short practice today, just making sure to let your breath guide you. So if there's any postures that feel like they're constricting your breath, making sure to ease out and not coming into any postures that don't feel good in your body. When you're ready, you can slowly open the eyes. And we're going to start by coming into a tabletop position. So coming onto all fours with the wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And we're going to start with some cat cows to warm up the hips a little bit. So inhale, drop your belly down, lift your tailbone and your chest up. And exhale, pull your belly button towards the ceiling. Look at your thighs around the spine. Inhale forward. And exhale. Good, one more. Inhale. And exhale. From here, we're gonna come into a low lunge. So bringing the right foot in between the hands. This is where you could use some support. So if you have blocks, maybe stacks of books, or you could come between your couch and your coffee table. We're bringing that right knee on top of the right ankle. If you're flexible, you can bring your hands down to the ground, but if you need the space coming up onto some support. Find your breath here, opening up through the front of the left hip. And you probably feel it in that right hip as well. You can tuck or untuck the toes, whatever feels best for you. Good, on your next exhale, we'll bring the right foot back and the left foot forward. Low lunge on the other side. Every time you notice your mind start to wander, just come back to your breath. Good. We'll come back and we're going to find our way on to our backs. So take your time. And then once you're there, we'll pull the knees in towards the chest. You can rock side to side if that feels good. And we're going to keep our right knee pulling in. Left leg will come down. You can keep the knee bent or extend the leg if you have the space. And full deep breaths here.
Good. On your next exhale, release the right leg out and pull the left knee in. Stretching through the left hip and maybe opening up through the front of the right hip as well. Next, exhale, release your left leg. We'll bring our feet to the mat, about mat width apart, and we'll drop the knees to the right. Feel free to take something and support underneath the right knee, and maybe gaze comes to the left. Good, inhale, back through center and knees follow to the left, gaze can come to the right. Trying to fully release through the hips here, not holding on to anything. Next, inhale, back through center. We're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. Flex the right toes back and press the leg away. If you need to deepen it, pull in the left thigh towards your chest, coming into our figure four position, stretching through the outside of the right hip and glute. But you might feel this in other areas as well. So we'll all feel this in different areas depending on where we are tight. Good, keeping the legs where they are, we're going to grab behind the right knee and pull it in towards the chest. So coming into a sort of pigeon position from our back. So you might even pull, keep the right toes flex back and pull the right ankle in as well, kind of pulling your leg diagonally across your body. If it's more comfortable, left leg can stay down or even lengthen out to deepen. Play around with the angle you're pulling at, find the spot that feels best. Getting a little arm workout in if you're pulling as hard as I am. On your next exhale, gently release, right leg down. We'll bring the left heel over the right knee, pressing the left leg away and maybe grabbing behind the right thigh to pull the right leg in. You can intensify this by pressing the left leg away with your left elbow. So pulling the right leg in and pushing the left leg away. And then grabbing behind the left leg, maybe that right leg comes down. Keep the left toes flexing back as you pull the leg in towards the chest any amount. This is a great way to stretch your piriformis muscle as well. A lot of people dealing with pain or piriformis syndrome, so. Two more breaths. Good, and gently release. Our last pose is going to be a cobbler's pose. So this is where it's definitely good to have some sort of support. So it could just be some pillows or blankets. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees fall out. Placing something underneath the knees or for even more support underneath the thighs as we gently let our hips open here. So come to a place where you can 
Just stretch lightly for a little while. So we're not coming to the edge of what we're capable of standing here. Just coming to like a six out of 10 stretch. Feel free to allow the eyes to close as we come into relaxation here. Good. Feel free to stay here longer if you'd like. And then when you're ready, we're going to remove our support and come into our final resting pose, Shavasana. So lengthening out the legs, bringing the arms beside the body. And then if you haven't already, allowing your eyes to close. Relaxing through the space between the eyebrows, relaxing the jaw, letting your whole body feel super heavy, fully supported by the ground underneath you. And allow your breath to be organic and effortless. And know that all you have to do now is rest. I encourage you to spend at least a few minutes in your Shavasana. Very important time to integrate the movement that we did. Thank you all so much for joining me. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. So thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also check out exercisesforinjuries.com for a bunch more resources. So thank you all, take care, and I will see you in another video. Bye.